Being a pastor's kid, I guess I should be used to sermons crawling up and down my neck where a tight-collared pastor's kid shirt should be to keep my beliefs to a respectable volume. But the other day, I couldn't help but unbutton the top to a woman who called me the reason people can't feel comfortable with themselves. A boy with his face in a shit book. I hope she can forgive me. I remember one time when I was caught outside of church and the entire universe almost collapsed because I wasn't there to keep it whole with my critical prayers. And every time I go to a party, I have to mark the number of sins in my quartz tablet I keep under my cross just to keep the oceans from spilling over like an overwhelmed glass of freshly brewed holy water. Nothing like it. I put a little in my coffee to begin the usual spitefulness of a day and walk my way into every controversial topic because that's what Christian boys do. They build a cast out of the hateful words thrown at them by people who one time heard that they were hated for not being a religious extremist. They hide in a cast where people think that they are religious extremists. I am thrown into a cast by religious extremists where I will stay as a pastor's kid who isn't, who isn't to be anywhere outside of church unless he's in heaven, where he can't make any more people uncomfortable for being a boy who sometimes reads a shit book. I hope you can forgive me for all the times you were hurt by someone who showed you what spitefulness looks like, but I believe in love. I hope you can forgive me for wanting to be more than my crucifix. To walk into a party without feeling like I'm walking into a tomb. Love someone without them thinking I have courts in my mind and a chisel of a Bible. Woman who feels uncomfortable. I am sorry you feel uncomfortable. But why do you want to believe that this is what Christian looks like? Do you not think I feel uncomfortable in this cast? Do you not think I feel uncomfortable with you writing my name into courts for being another thing unworthy of an opinion because you already heard what I had to say spilling out of the mouth of a man drunk on holy water? My collar is getting tighter with every word you made an omen of me. Since when did believing in something mean you playing tug of war with the tightrope and the ideals of what I should say and do and what kind of person I am? Hi, I'm 16, a pastor's kid. Yes, I also got drunk the other night because I felt like it. The other night I stuck my face in a shit book because I felt like it. I hope you can forgive me. I hope you can stop building a cast around my beliefs so it looks like you believe it does. I hope you can stop mourning for a reason to feel like I am your assailant holding a Bible in one hand and a rosary in the other. There is hate, not in this world, but in the hearts of those who spoke it into the air like an illness. And I believe that.